Hi, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari and welcome back to your next tutorial. So in this lesson, I'm going to tell you what is the difference between von Neumann and Harvard architecture. So before we start talking about the differences between von Neumann and the Harvard architecture, the one thing I must tell you that no matter what is the advantage and disadvantage of uh, one hardware architecture onto the another ha ha uh, architecture, but there is always pros and the cons in every hardware, uh, the design systems, every architectures, right? So the some advantage of uh, having one human architecture, there is some other advantage having Harvard type of architecture. It depends what type of architecture the processor is using and according to that, its hardware making complexity and the pricing factor, etc. get affected. So let's first discuss about the one human architecture. In one human architecture, the same memory and the bus are used to store both data and the instruction. And uh, I, I can tell you and I can show you this with the block diagram. Let's say there is a CPU here. And the CPU has here a bus okay and then this bus is connected a same bus is connected with the code memory as well as a former data memory okay so the same bus is connected with the code memory as well as the data memory so this is the one new main architecture So in this one human architecture, as you can understand this, at a single time, either CPU can fetch a code or CPU can fetch a data from the memory. So the somehow, because of this limitation, what happens in one human architecture, the performance get affected. Okay. performance get affected but there is advantage of uh, not having a hardware architecture I'll tell you the later once I draw the hardware architecture now the question is what is the hardware architecture now let me draw a hardware architecture block diagram in hardware bar architecture we have a control unit the control unit have here a separate the code memory and it has separate the data memory we can say we have a code memory and here we have a data memory and of course the control unit is connected with the ALU and of course it is also connected with the input and output so in other term if you um, don't think that this makes a sense then what you can do you can delete this and then I can tell you this in a better way where you can understand this let's say here you have a CPU right so it's like this here you have a code memory And this end, now you have here a data memory. Okay, so this is the difference between one Newman and Harvard architecture. This is a Harvard architecture. See here in Harvard architecture, performance get, you know, the boosted because it has a separate bus for the data and a separate bus for a code that means at the same time the processor can access the data memory as well as the code memory okay with a different bus but here it is not present there so what happens the hardware complexity is less here the hardware complexity is less here 
but the hardware complexity is high here. The price of this one newman architecture, since there is less number of bus and the less space is low, but the price in the Harvard architecture as comparison by keeping other factors constant, its price is high since it involves hardware complexity and the more number of buses to access the code memory and the data memory separately. Right. So this is all about in this video in which we have discussed about what is the difference between one Newman architecture and the Harvard architectures. We have taken their advantage and the disadvantage to each other. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.